Really starts on Mirage. Mouse Sports, previously known as one of the front runners on this map, but oh so long ago. Now FaZe Clan coming in as favorites. Two top 10 teams clash on their road to Rio de Janeiro, and we're off in the pistol. Well, here we go then. FaZe Clan will be starting on the T side here. Mouse Sports allowing Mirage to be played here, and we'll have two flashbangs, one smoke on the CT side. Similar story for FaZe as well, as he had the bomb waiting outside the A ramp, but if a good of aggression towards B, we do have Frozen challenging now with the USP. But no one to receive just yet. You can see FaZe making their way through underpass. And it's a little bit of a stalemate for now, but the initial smoke's being thrown in, remember that's with the bomb. So an A split looking likely with the players making their way towards connector. Well, Olof's in window and Chris J has managed to find, Oh, that's a big equalizer, Olof immediately ensuring it stays 4v4 after the loss of Nico. That was just Chris J bouncing around on CT, and now a bit of space found. Rain is up, connector, Brokey too. They've conceded all of jungle. They've got a great bit of control here, but how do they plan to finish? This is what it's all about. Chris J to be challenged by Rain. A fantastic shot there when the PG50 oh. gets himself a couple. And now we've got a four versus two, Frozen and Rops. Both coming in from the B side of the map here. They have not got a kit, but they still have 100 HP and four kills to find. Luckily, there is a diffuse kit in CT spawn, but I dare say they'll be considering their options here in terms of saving because they actually have 100 HP and armor right now. Probably better off force buying the next round with the armor. Yeah, backing away. Great work from FaZe Clan and Rain again with a powerful pistol. He's fast becoming one of the candidates for best pistol player. We've been seeing multiple multi-kills. And you can see FaZe's faith in him. He's getting the armored P250 alongside Brokey on a lot of these pistol rounds. He makes it work. It does sound like we're going to be having a technical timeout for a moment. Brokey's going to be fixing his team speak. So while we do see that round conclude, why don't we check in with what's going on elsewhere? Not just one stream, but three no way. running simultaneously for the road to Rio. And over on the C stream, that's Hard Legion and Simon Gaming getting to see more action from them. Let's not forget they, of course, we saw Ke who was it from Simon Gaming that got a uh, ticket to the big leagues? Perfecto. Perfecto. Yeah, he's now on Na'Vi. So uh, this Simon Gaming roster has actually changed a lot. There was uh, Razmik on this team that people might remember as the AWP player, but now they've got Mo from Gambit fame in the team. Oh, and this uh, is most of the dream catchers. Yeah, Kinky, Krad, why am I getting German? Krad, Spiat, <laughs> and Forrester. So there's only the... Uh, Speedak, he, Speedak got replaced, he got replaced by Rage. Um, so I've been keeping up with my CIS Counter-Strike really in have. recent time. Yeah, and I think as well, if you look at the Simon Gaming roster, it has changed a lot. Kriaz is in there, Alex. You might remember him I from do. Pro League in Season 10. He stood in for Fnatic when Crims was unable to make it across there, and I we remember. got to commentate some of his He was in Leicester, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. babyface Kriaz. That was the one right there. So... Uh, that's the B stream on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. You can see Entz taking on Dignitas. And while well, Dig have been having some up and down results, but it's good to see the old boys still giving it a crack. Well, they did take down Fnatic. That's true. And uh, that's the number one team in the world right now. So uh, definitely some interesting results. And all of my start cracking things open here towards the A side of the map. Rain, double kill and CT spawn. Beautiful stuff. I have to say, I have not been impressed with Rain's form uh, in the last couple of weeks. I expected a lot from him. So it's uh, I just want to see the real Rain on the sure. server. Yeah, he's been in that entry frag role, and there were some maps there where he was hemorrhaging quite a lot, if uh, I remember rightly. Ooh, going for the old B-Rush here, boys. Against the Force by this could be <laughs> deadly. You hate these, but maybe FaZe can justify it. As I say that, it double does. kill straight into the site. Rain's got an AK. He's going to have to try and dig them out of this hole. Scouts for the retake is an ideal. Woxic tries to take some initiative, but Rops manages to trade. A two versus three on the B-Rush second round call. Yeah, it always does seem to lead oh. to this sort of detrimental scene. We are going to have Cold Zero left in the three versus one. They had four Mac 10s. I think that's where they went for that sort of play. And one AK 47. Uh, it's not the worst call in the world, I suppose, considering you have the light weaponry, but still, I consider it to be a lazy call. It just, if it does fall apart like this, you, you feel like you could have done much more with it. So, just Cold Zero. Hasn't died yet, hasn't done any damage, but we'll see whether he can fight his way out here in round number two. Can't get the bomb down. That's a little victory in its own right. Might want to drop a smoke as well. Just uh, sit inside it, I would say. Yeah, or really, really jump hard. Oh. Never mind. He's actually going to get a frag. Frozen hit by the drive-by, but Rops does add a second to his tally. And so Mouse Sports, they fight straight back with the fourth round in the second. Should we keep an actual tally of that starting now? Let's let's keep a tally of that, right? On uh, the second round, if the T's have won the pistol and then they do the hard B with the uh, upgraded rifles or weaponry, 
so far we're at uh, zero and one for success. So let's keep it. Feels like I've dedicated most of my life to complaining about this. Yeah, I know. But let's decision. let's actually like if we're if we're gonna go hard on it, let's get some stats That's behind it so we can uh, get get some proof for the people at home. So right now that. we've got one in the tally. I'm writing it in my notebook. I'm even gonna use the red pen just so uh, you know it stands out. Well, I like that, and hopefully we'll uh, get some interesting data farm farmed after this. Uh, this season, we'll get into the next round here. There is going to be a buy from FaZe Clan. And it's not too bad, all things considered. Remember, they had this residual MAC-10. So we do still get a couple of AK-47s here. All of my stuff with the Galil. And we will see Mouse Sports getting stronger and cross stronger. Well, Chris J, of course, the Desert Eagle with 4,200 <laughs> in reserve. That's his kind of thing now. No one really knows why, but I assume it's just to save the cash. And he feels like he can get the job done with a Deagle. And he did the stylish inspect. So his Deagle now does an additional damage, one point. They call that, that's, that's efficiency five, right? I think so, yeah. Yep. Efficiency five, and it has smiting two, I believe. And uh, definitely some mending on that deal. Wow, Chad, you practically sound like a Minecrafter. Well, I've been in the car with Rush the last couple of days, and that's all he's been talking about, so. so. Well, from Minecraft to FaZe Clan, trying to build something in this T side. We are going to be seeing initial utility pulled out. That's the incendiary to under window. No sound cues given away yet. What's their intentions with this flash? Take connector. Looks like it is. Rain will try and take some space here. And yeah. immediately... It's going in, actually. Robs has done a great job there. That's surely taken down by Cold Zera, but there's Chris J's Deagle. It's a frugal investment. It leads him to only one kill. And now we're back to a three versus three. 40 seconds here. Olaf Meister will take Voxig, but Nico, at this stage, will get the bomb planted. Brokey joining him with the Desert Eagle and Frozen. No grenades here. Kit available on Carrigan, but only got the MAC-10. You would give this round towards FaZe in the current setup. We'll see what they can make of it. They have a flash and no smoke for the retake. It's not planted for Brokey here, so he has to be relatively active. But he's playing super passive. He wants them to try and clear him. And then he strikes. What timing that is from Brokey. Couldn't be better. It's hard to hit a target moving without the knowledge of your position. He still hits the shot. And that should be the round. Frozen's M4. It's just a matter of time. He gets the first, but talk of time. He's got to get on it now. Has the kit from Carrigan. Nico hoping to catch him on the exit and will do just that. Phase two. Mouse Sports one and Nico even preserving. So look at the Deagle purchase from Chris J now. It would facilitate them to pick up an AWP if they would really oh, wish. And it. as we say it, they dropped that across. They've actually given it to Woxic, which makes sense. And he's got the best spawn for window here. He might potentially want to do a cat jump or jump out mid and try and be a little bit more active with the AWP. I'm not sure if FaZe will be ready for this purchase this early in the game. Yeah, this is why this is when it starts to make sense, right? This is where Chris J can actually bring the team back to life. He can drop the AWP. We've seen it in plenty of Mouse Sports lineups before. Remember when Oscar was in the Mouse Sports lineup? They used to do this all the time, dropping him an AWP on the CT side of Mirage, and he'd go out and wing them around. And that's the kind of player Boss is as well. He has that sort of impact capability. Uh, whether it's realized is another question entirely. Some series, he'll be lights out, look amazing. Sometimes a little bit flat and overwhelmed. And uh, I'm hoping he'll on the show today because it is just marvelous when he gets do, going. Do you think there's a, there's a particular volatility to the, the, the stats of AWPers more so than the Riflers due to the fact that some teams will target you specifically to ensure you don't get going? Or is that just uh, um, us being overly dramatic? No, but, well, in terms of not getting going, as an AWPer on the CT side, you have the liberty of picking where you want to go at the start, yeah. right? But in terms of your economy getting snowballed on, if you want to take risks and invest a little bit more, that's on you, right? Whereas we can see Mouse Sports here, they've clearly allowed for an AWP to come on out. They've uh, made sure that's a possibility. But I, with what you're saying there, I don't know if people ever would go into, oh, let's let's try and avoid the AWP, right? They, Certainly they, not avoid, but I mean, shut down. I'm talking about yeah. flashes. I'm talking about smokes, Molotovs. Suddenly your opening moves aren't working in a way that isn't akin to that of a typical rifler. Yeah, and that's one of the most difficult things to potentially overcome. I think yesterday watching the Cloud9 versus Genji game is a great example of a team using utility to just deny everybody on this yeah. team, right? In terms of having specifics and looking at tendencies, well, here we go, here's the cat jump we're looking for. It, it's hard when you have these flary players who can do it almost anywhere on the map. Well, we have got FaZe Clan choosing to attack the A bomb site. They do not know the Vox. He has the AWP at this stage. And they're setting up for plays in front of the smokes here. Frozen tucking himself in towards the A ramp. And Chris J resides at the balcony above Shadow. Frozen will join him. And they're going to go for a contact play here from the Palace area. Nico and Rain setting themselves up. Flashbang available for Nico to bounce around the corner. Set Rain up. There's the smoke with the steps. Flashbang to come momentarily. And they are going to be committing to this any second now. 
Oh boy, feels like this could go awry. Charging in, Olaf looking to try and find some space and there's his first frag. The flash is perfect. It actually catches them both and Brokey's flash has found the first two. Frozen in the smoke, sitting idle. Olaf puts him in on his bottom and Boxic. That AWP investment will have to be saved. I guess that's the perk of sending him B. If it isn't coming towards him, he can just pull it over for the next. Beautiful round there from FaZe. Didn't give anyone up. And Olaf Meister being very diligent by double checking the smoke there after killing the first player. He was aware there's a possibility the Frozen could be residing within the smoke. Oh, this could be a bit of a problem here. Brokey on a slow hunt. If Woxic misses this shot, they might be able to capitalize on his position here and get themselves a free big green. He's been spotted now. The jiggles come on through. They know. Oh, oh it's horrible. Oh, it's so scary. And he's been tagged up. He's lost his teammate. He has to stand his ground. He hits the first flick. He knows the pre-fire's coming in. And Brokey, that is a sensational find. He goes from a Mac 10 to an AWP to start off round five. Yeah, that's huge. And that's a force buy as well. So Mouse will be down to the eco. Brokey's got his AWP for free. Actually got paid for it by finding a couple of kills there with the Mac 10. And here's all of Meister in that replay. Gets a second kill through the smoke and it's frozen. Just trying to see if he can deny the plant, be a little bit cheeky and then Brokey to close things out here. Finding a load of money, taking down the orb of Vox's 8 HP, one bullet had to that land, and it did. Perfection, and Brokey doesn't even have to spend any of his pennies to get that orb into the attacking side. We are seeing a USP stack with a single flash. I love when there's a single flash. Gives us something to talk about, and well, not anymore. It's gone, and they push on it. Perfect oh. work, double kill, and a third as well. Frozen double dinks onto Rain. Cold's trying to pull this one back. They were going for the weapons. Carrigan snuck under Olaf's crosshair. If Frozen takes contact, Olaf's going to go down here. Carrigan, very wide. Frozen unspotted. Could have the element of surprise here onto Olaf. This is the kill that decides the round, in my opinion. Olaf Meister, not aware of it. Frozen, great positioning. That's the third kill for Frozen on a full eco right now. Leaving Cold Zera. Oh, dear. In a two versus one. Bomb down. If Vox is spotted, it could be onto something here. I don't think he sees it in time. But, oh, he did spit Cold's. Oh. It's been Cold's error for sure. 100%. He can't win this, I don't think. Like, Frozen can just reposition now. It's going to be very tight. So they know exactly where he is. And the backstab's coming in now. Voxic only with the P2000. Oh. Will struggle to close things out. I think he, he saw, saw a barrel. A, he did, and his gun's available right now as well. But yeah. he doesn't want to pick him up. Interesting. He just walked past the Galil. Oh, they've lost him now. Oh, nope. Cold Zera kindly obliges and lets them know exactly where he's planning to come from. Bomb on his back. Smoke as well. Will he clear this corner? There's, There's no, no way. way. There's no way. Look how passive. Oh, he's been spotted. Just a little cheeky knee. And now Cold Zera looks like he could save FaZe Clan from the full eco loss. So much damage inflicted. Frozen would have to find himself the fourth frag. He started with a USP, but he's got the AK and he's found it. Quad kill from Frozen. He's always on the list of players that have to step up, and this is a prime example. A full eco victory. He spotted the flashbang. Alex is a very common approach, pushing towards middle, and these are the reads FaZe need to be aware of. We, we've, we talk about this all the time. You just get the one flash, throw it over towards middle, then you stampede from either connector or shore and overwhelm your opponents. Now, with your FaZe, the anti-eco decisions you've made so far, rushing B in that second round, and now going into a mid depot when they've got USPs oh. and you've given the round up, and that's incredibly good. You saw him just about oh. to we don't have to win the round. Frozen with four kills on a full eco there. Yeah, that's, uh, that one's going to really hurt, I think. That's the sort of round, Chad. We talk, you and I have been talking about yeah. this a lot recently. We say FaZe, in my opinion, are a very emotional team. They're fantastic. Everything's going well for them. And uh, the pistol land in their favor. They get a couple of nice standard gun rounds in there. As soon as they lose one of those rounds, especially on this map, I feel like they can crumble and just fall apart at the seams. Now, being very early on in this game, I don't think this would be a massive issue, but it's the sort of round that normally perpetuates this idea of the team just being ruined. Sure, yeah. It's, it's, it's like when things are going well, they feel like this is just business as usual. So as soon as something doesn't go well, it's not, okay, we can overcome it. It's, this is not how it's supposed to go. Yeah, I feel like they, they get frustrated easily considering like, how many of these rounds do fall apart when they have clear advantages. But just need to slow it down sometimes. I feel like the rounds they have lost now to pistols are just led from not taking their time. But uh, here we go. Brokey, still with the AWP. We just saw Walksick actually make a choice that saved his life without realizing he had a smoke in his hand. If he pulled that pin, Nico swings on that smoke. A one way from Woxic that didn't get thrown in the end. Carrigan will smoke off the apps at the 50 second mark. That will change the plans of Olofmeister. Left eye peak for rain. 
Not ideal. Yeah, very tense scenes right now. We know how much these teams love Connector and up through middle. Well, nobody wants to make any aggression. It's very, very quiet out there. And now they have to start making a decision. Where do FaZe want to end? Couple smokes, couple flashes. Looks like through Connector to A as the bomb's in Palace. Nico does go down though. All of that waiting on window does not bear fruit. Look at the angle from Chris. It should be a frag and it is. A chance perhaps onto Palace as well. FaZe, they're falling flat in this one. Cold's got a plan. It looks like it should go down safely. Oh my God, Hello. he's got the craziest wall bangs. They look like they're bang on. But Olaf, he equalizes just a little bit. Is this going to be enough for FaZe though? Olaf Meister knows he needs this frag with a flashbang. Frozen might not even know he's got it at this point. He will find Olaf Meister. It's going to be a four versus two now. Diffuse kits available, but only one of them. Cold Zero knows he needs a kill. Sits patiently, bomb ticking away. Got a bit of backup from the connector as well. He can have his back covered by Brokey, but the incendiary lands at his front door towards connector. Comes to final CT. Brokey's in a lot of trouble here. Needs to hit a quick scope. Doesn't go through it. Surely he goes down. Carrigan confirms it, and the bomb to be diffused. Whew, that one got real close right there. Woxic was the only individual with a kit, so another kill or two, and that one could potentially have fallen in the favor of FaZe Clan. Mao's doing a good job to stabilize here, and that's their first weapon round. So far, it's been a yes, force buy and been, the full yeah. USPs. So now it's some good signs right there that they're able to get it done on a gun round. And nobody hemorrhaged an opening kill, which was nice to see. They were very patient. They stuck to their guns and the orbs while well, striking true. And this one right here, I think, potentially wins the round, right? If Frozen doesn't get Olaf, he makes it back to connector. Brokey has a buddy. Maybe they win this fight. That's, what do you reckon if Brokey gets that no-scope? Do you feel like he's going oh, he, to he could off? win, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Miko goes to the Desert Eagle shot towards the A-ramp. Doesn't work out for him. Rops. We'll settle the score with a lovely M4 headshot. I've been watching a lot of ROPs, you know, over the, over the last couple of years, and on Mirage, he loves that fight. Yeah. He's got excellent aim, and uh, it's difficult with the Desert Eagle, though, as well, especially you know you've got utility heading your direction, you've got no armor, and it doesn't work out for Nico this time. Five versus four. Might as well bleed at the clock phase. Known to do this, just take it real slow, hope the CTs get impatient or dump their utility, go for a couple of picks, see if you get the bomb down. And it's fair enough. Means you can calm the pace of the game down as well. But Rain, he's about to meet Rops and he'll get his second kill of this round. Comfortable. Shouldn't be that much more because of contribute. The incendiary enables him to push in for info. And in fact, compared with a flash, it's the perfect combination. Brokey not going to get a second chance on the jiggle. Woxic holding the line. And now there is only Cold Zera who's fired off the warning shot and hopes for the quickie onto Woxic. But that's his third. The Orpa triple kill in round seven. Puts its 4-3. Mouse sports have really come back with a vengeance. They really have. I'm just getting some of the stats coming through at this point. Nico is currently 0-5 and five in opening duel. So a bit of an issue in that regard. There's been a lot of B rushes and questionable mid approaches. Need to just reel it in is what I'm seeing so far from the numbers and the eye test at this point. It is thought that everyone's just kind of overstepping the mark a little bit too early on to the round. And the thing is, Nico is uh, their most consistent player, I would yeah. say. You know, with what we've on, seen. On Mirage especially. He's been looking fantastic in recent times. So it's early stages still. We're going sure. into round number eight right here. They can turn this one around. That's still a very close affair at four to three but this top mid push by rops that's going to net them all the information he could even go on a bit of a flank hello here. yeah huge bit of intel where the ace moves going down as well he can guarantee this is pretty much going to be the ace out of attack see the rotations come through as well no one towards b they've left that side open boxer comes in with the awp <laughs> frozen he'll deliver a beautiful headshot towards rain he's low hp the wall bang is coming through can he get away he does so oh. much damage towards all of the grenade might finish him off not quite, and they are stuck at the ramp, but here comes Rops. Remember, Rops, he was pushing middle all this time. And at this stage, he will be ready to get three kills. They're right in front of him, just need to pull the trigger. There's the first, bomb goes down, and it looks like the round has been found. Brokey, though, might be able to find his way out of this one, but Rops will say no, and that's gonna be three players surviving for Mouse Sports. I wonder if Mouse uh, were reading social media after that movie star riders game with FaZe Clan. Maybe they might opt for a couple of knife kills, spamming the body a bit, because clearly it gets to FaZe. They if did. they want to tweet about it so much, it must be doing they, something. They created their own meme with Yeah. That, that was impressive from Cold Zero. <laughs> <laughs> respect. I've never created a meme. No. Unless but, apart from uh, Creamy Moses would be They happen like accidentally. That's yeah. one of your proudest moments, isn't it? Creamy well, Moses. I came up with a name. I actually delivered the cream myself. Okay. So I created like the photo opportunity, I suppose. It was so a like, combination uh, of effort. Yeah. Like magic doesn't happen with just one person involved. It needs uh, a lot of bodies. Yeah, you need your ma magician's assistant. Exactly. Rain, so. this is not going to end well. Back turned, and Rops collects his eighth. It looked fun, though. It did look like he had oh, a fun, oh, my God.
God. That's a lot of fun for FaZe. Two opening frags into A. A bomb plant even. Add that to the list. And Olof. Oh, this is about to get spicy. Okay, so he's pushed up jungle. If he gets in this corner, there is no way Robs can fight that. There's a second coming through. It's called the murder hole for a reason. Nico cowering now. Cold picked up the AWP. Will he be able to find a frag where they're not known to operate with that AWP, but he's happy to take the upgrade. Well, Cold Zero, the AWP, he knows if just one of these kills comes in his favor, they probably win the round. Nails it, takes down Carrigan, even just frozen here. No utility after dumping the incendiary. He has to go to the defuse right now. The smoke is available for him, but the bomb is not, and he's out of luck, out of time. Nico picking up his second frag, and this game is now a brawl. The Desert Eagles are out after losing the first two picks. FaZe Clan come back in emphatic fashion with the Desert Eagles. A beautiful shot from CD Spy. I need to see that from his POV. How that does was, he hit that That one? was wild, wasn't it? That's what you want to see from Nico for sure. This is Olaf towards the window room, making it look nice and easy. But the fact that Carrigan gets this kill, I know that Olaf looked away with the spam, but still, that's not, a, not an easy shot to hit Definitely. from left eye peeking, crouching through a vent. So good stuff to Carrigan to attempt to make it interesting there. But Nico will close it the way he started it. And here's Chris J. Up, over, AWP in hand, waiting for the flash. There it is, now he can peek and he gets the leg shot. Rain might go down to a nade here. Yeah, you'd expect him to. He's desperately trying to find an off angle so he can't catch the follow-up HE. Woxic could get caught by Nico here. He's waiting for his Q match. Yomps just to smoke and rotate. We'll keep the attention middle though and actually force out some utility from FaZe. So significant damage inflicted towards the phase squad here. Olaf Meister, 73, and Rain tagged across middle. He tuck himself in towards Delpan and he'll survive for now as they start the transition back towards A. That's going to be Rain at least. Could be working towards the palace as his teammates go for their default here in middle. So he might just be tagging out of Nico. And we'll head towards Connector for now. Looks confident in doing so. Smoke should be down. And he has confirmed that it's clear at least for now. Rops will be holding towards the sandwich and we do have Frozen also on the A site, focusing towards a palace. It's quite smart they've sent the low HP player towards palace. Means that Rain will still have a chance to do a lot of damage here once the attention's drawn elsewhere. Hoping that backs are turned. Frozen Rops currently obviously giving them the full attention. That will change. The timing on this from Carrigan oh. is huge. Oh, he's got both of them. All off and Brokey. Nico down to 10. Carrigan, he could have single-handedly won them this round. Let's not forget the rain is low. Robs has already caught him. And now they're coming from one direction. They can focus their attention, but Cold no. Zera's on a mad one. This is epic from Cold Zera. Another one versus one. Three kills already, but Chris J looking to shut it all down. And that's a nice move from Cold. He would have lost the round, I think. So he has to go for the plan once again. Loses half his health, but he has got a more of a fighting chance at this point. One more plan. Oh! Oh! And it's just beautiful from Cold Zera. Absolutely destroys Mouse Ward's there. And this game is just warming up now. Oh, that was so perfect for Mouse, but Cold Zera, he had other intentions. Those first two were so quick. Let's see if we can catch any more of them. This was Carrigan, who I thought had just won the round. It was a good little move right there, but I don't think anyone was expecting this. Bang. Now, where's number two? It oh, was a my God! Oh, one bullet on Frozen. That's how you win a round. I, the readjustment on the plant as well. What a stroke of genius. Seven seconds left. He right. just repositions to avoid Chris J. He would have got the bomb down, but Chris J would have taken him down yeah. there. So he had a one second window to reposition there, get the bomb planted, and he did everything so well there. That's a bit of cold zero I like to see. Ooh, Not so much from Rain, as they will be going down for the first interaction. But Nico does get a trade, and we're back to a four and four. So Brokey, sniper rifle towards middle. Things always a little bit chaotic at the start of the round here for FaZe against these pistols. I feel like they need to take more tactical timeouts to work out the money situation because they always seem to be caught off a little bit. I just think going up against mouse sports, you'd want to expect to buy every single time. It, they've shown so much proficiency with the Deagles. They use it a little bit, well, I want to say differently. When you see the phase guys using it, definitely the Nico and Cold Zero highlights, they're just headshots. But when you see mouse sports, you it. They describe it as a, as a shotgun up close, right? Because those two body shots, we see them on maps like Inferno. We won't see them on a map like Inferno today. But in the past, where they're just up close in the balcony We will position, see them on train, though, and they do that a lot of that low, low ramp. ramp. Yeah. So maybe we'll see a bit more of it here. But back towards the B-bomb site. It's not the rush, which means they can get their smokes and flashes in position and then take their time. One of the biggest issues that I think that teams have here is once they consider themselves stuck in that choke point, they feel like they need to speed through. So here we go. And already the first and the Lock second. Down. Not again. Phases B takes needs some work. Mouse sports 
have caught them twice now. A good tag. Perhaps Brokey's got more to contribute. Cold Zera, they're asking another clutch of him, and he has already found Rops. Well, they've got 13 seconds here, boys, so I'm not sure this is still going to be enough, even though Cold Zera is finding all these kills. They might have found oh, a bit of Brokey here. Oh. Have they fought their way out of this one? It was looking so bleak, but now they have the man advantage, Frozen with no armor. He'll make his way from the B apartments here, and the amount of time he's taking, they are going to be very aware of it. You can see Cold Zera locked on. Like a cruise missile, ready to strike, and it will be frozen though, answering back. Low HP for Brokey as well. He's currently positioned towards short. The flashbang could catch him as well. It does. Has to go for the quick defuse any second. Remember, no kit, no armor, but if you can find him, one bullet would do it towards short. Missed shot comes oh! in. And that's it. no, it's a leg shot, and I think he has it. The fact he's going for it, I think he's fine. Oh my god, he won them the USP round. He's just pulled this one out of his hat as well. Frozen is looking hot to trot oh, today. By oh. the skin of his teeth, no armor. I don't think he needs to buy any armor. He's done it twice now. USP, and now he's gone and done it with the rifle. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Brokey. He was pinned to a corner there. Fair play to Cold Zero. Manages to bring the round back in their favor. But again, Chad, against the pistol, they've gone super fast in the middle. Lost that first pick, giving away an AK-47. Yep. Then, reposition slowed it down. I have no problem with that. They've gone back into that tight choke point again, knowing they're against pistols with no set piece. Why, why is there no grenades being deployed? On yeah, this I, I, look, I'm not quite sure here, but I think Brawl was the best term you used for this yes. one. It doesn't even seem to matter what the buys are between these two teams. They're both one low buys. They're both looking good with these rifles in hand. If it continues in this fashion, oh, oh we're fast! What a flash from Brokey, and oh. look what it's done! That's oh, like this it. is a game of Counter-Strike, folks. Yeah, let's just focus on A bomb site. It works out so much better for you. Let's uh, see if Rain can keep it up. Oops. Chris Day certainly can. He gets his first of the round, but Rain will get his hat trick. Four versus two. Frozen, Carrigan. Did they even consider their options there? What can they even think to do with this round? Carrigan will pull one back, but that's all he can find in Frozen. Surely not another clutch here, boys. A three versus one once again. Good decision. I think that these guys have been watching Henry G's uh, train ESCA I highlight from yesterday because they're looking bloody crispy. Both teams here hitting some phenomenal shots. It doesn't matter what they have in their hands. You can just see how sharp these guys are. That cold zero round, you just have rain just marauding but, yeah, through the connector. That pop flash is as well. It landed so quickly. Like, it, it was in his face, popped, and there were two Ts already halfway up connector by the time he lost his vision. It could not have been better executed. And rain... With four frags to his name, perhaps Brokey, if he goes just a step further, he checks his corners and, yeah, Frozen looks like he will hold on to his rifle. They gave a bit of a YOLO spray towards the end, but unable to connect. We'll see this from Reigns POV now. One, and then here comes number two right out of the <laughs> gate, round over. Yeah, you can see the flash assist from Brokey there as well. Just setting up the tunnel of destruction there for Rain. He's managed to get four in total. Beautiful stuff. But we did save the M4 on Frozen. He might be able to drop a weapon as well, considering he did save a couple of rounds. He's going to take a tactical timeout. Give Regin a chance to chime in here. And they are going to fully invest in this one. So we're going to see a Desert Eagle for Rops. Carrigan, I assume, is a gun down the floor. It looks to be an MP9. So this is like a, an all-in moment. I guess we're getting to that. The book end of this first half. They want to see whether they can steal around away and potentially get a few more and actually end up winning the half. But it's not looking good, Chad. Do you see anything else sticking up off the two M4s and the MP9s? Anything I've missed? Uh, I don't think so. There's an MP9 on the ground. Yeah, that's about it. So it's Desert Eagles and uh, I presume that's for Carrig and Chris J might buy his own deal as well. Uh, look, we just have a quick more stats before we get back into this one. When we saw FaZe Clan last on Mirage, they were hemorrhaging a lot of opening frags. Well, they're doing the same thing here today. Nico 0 and 5, Rain is uh, 1 and 4. So those aren't solid signs, but the way that this game is kind of progressing, it will feel like it's going to be more of a back and forth, lots more clutch scenarios, more of these uh, 3v3 post plants. It's when we go into the CT side, if Rain's going down time and time again, that we really have to start to worry. Yeah, well, he, he does have this tendency to occasionally get a little overly aggressive ramp because when it does work, he gets round winning intel for his squad. So keep your eyes on that when we get there. A few more rounds and Cold Zera has already found the opening frag. This force bike could fall flat on its face. Frozen refuses. There's only going to be one. Wox it catching rain, however, on his extension from Palace. Bullets do connect through that smoke. Cold Zera catching a couple of Deagle bullets and this boost, Chris J not only boosting Woxic up, but actually 
making his deagle work as well. 2v3. Well, FaZe kind of look like they've done enough here. But remember, there's no kids available. Boxing does have the M4, but this would be such a difficult round to fight out of. He'll push through the flames, and Nico with the AWP absolutely destroys Chris J there. Box is going to go for it, but he's looking for consolation frags if possible with FaZe. Win out the round and potentially the half here because it could be 7 6 up. Has to be the eco for Mouse Sports, but that's where they probably do their best work, to be honest with you. Uh, yeah. This game's anything to go by. I think they may as well force. Think yeah, about all the success that they've had throughout right here. You can see this, you definitely give them eight. You go for the all in here, where you've already won at least three low buy rounds within this first half. Give it two more cracks. I th they probably will play the percentage CS, as we can see right here, but considering how this game has gone, three of their rounds have come off the back of low buys. That's 50% of their rounds so far. C can you really count on another Frozen 4K, though? Hey, it's uh, it's happened twice. It has, yeah, but Lightning shouldn't strike thrice. That's what they always say. They yeah. always say that. That's, yeah, that's what they, they can't stop saying. My mum always used to say yeah. that, yeah. Lightning can't strike thrice. That's the saying. And a shark can eat you more than once. Something, something like that. Yeah, 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 that's, that's the Aussie saying. Go in the ocean all the time. In England, we say, uh, watch out for those brown snakes. They could, they could, the browns. They could scare you. <laughs> Here it is again. Look at this. Here we it's go. We've got the start. Victory. There's an AK. They really uh, can't hold on to it. We, no, we... Let's, let's diagnose this, right? Here's okay. what's happening right now. Okay, so FaZe know the territory that they've lost. So now they're quickly trying to take other parts of the map, knowing a push Can we do X-ray off just to make it scary? So right now they know that B and underpass are open. So they're quickly accelerating towards this A site. They have to, you know, they can't clear as many corners. They can't be as diligent as they would like. So they're pushing forward. Lucky for them, they have an avenue right now. But look at Mount. They're behind these smokes. And now they're pouncing. Again! He Frozen, said... <laughs> he's doing it again. Finally, silence. Brokey gets the frags and Cold Zera. He's been their eco cobra, and he hisses and strikes again. That will be just Carrigan now. One v two. They've managed to make it an attainable and winnable situation. The bomb is loose as well, and he's got a chance. But Cold Zera goes hunting, and he'll take the triple. Nineteen frags for the Brazilian. As long as they win the round, there's not really too much to discuss here because they're eco anyway. And you've got enough money for this final round, but still, it's making me anxious watching them play. I don't know what the, the morale must be like on the server having these tense rounds every. Yeah, time. I think they're probably questioning those kind of rounds the most now because yeah. it's been a, such a problem for them here in this game. So when you lose that territory, you have two options. Do we go back, try and take that out of his hands? He might hang around to hold on to that. But mouse sports, you can see what they do. As soon as they find that kill, they know that they're corralling them someone, somewhere else and they rotate as a team. So a double orb set up here to close things out. Round number 15, Chris J hasn't used the orb too much as of yet. Nine kills to his name and it starts to fall back. Does do some damage towards Rain. Finds himself at 51 HP. Toxic so fast as AWP. Great at the flicks, but all of my season, the buddy system, the full effect. He will trade out the initial kill. And now we have a four on four with Rain. Just locking these two players in towards B, but we have got a bit of a rotation from Chris. Sits towards the kitchen window. All of Meister going to be deploying the smoke towards jungle. Called Zera makes his hit. Olaf charging in. They haven't found Robs yet, and Frozen's drawing their attention elsewhere. This is a perfect hold. The two rifles, both Frozen and Robs, have single handedly secured the final round of the first half here. And that's concluded by Chris J. Eight to seven. Couldn't be closer. Mouse Sports phase is delivering in the ways we knew it could. Stay
Frozen, you have to say, there's eco victories he was finding. He might be peaking slightly higher, and that's saying something as we get into the second half now. Mouse Sports with two smokes, three flashbangs, an upgraded pistol for Rob, who's also got armor as well. So look out for that young Superman stepping up here as he holds towards the A ramp. Looking to find these kills at CT spawn. He does have one there, it's gonna be rain down to 36 HP. Cops a few bullets to the face. So flashbang goes over. Robs will make his way forward. Smoke already down towards spawn and a few shots in return. But the bomb makes its way towards B, and this is the final attack. Full commitment. Rain will get the first kill. That's on Robs on the other side of the map. They got a dink towards Olaf Meister, who will be going down. Yeah, and a good shot, but not enough. Cold Zera's tapped away at another. Leaves just one man. An unarmored Dutchman and four players to find. The bomb is on the B side, and you can see Chris Jay's processing this information now. What are my options? They're not plentiful. It's very difficult right now for him to close down any distance, as you can see. We've turned off X-Ray for the second pistol round, and we'll be doing that all throughout the day. But for Chris to find a fight here, you can see everyone's tucked in towards that B bomb site. The USP's at range. They're a lot more deadly than this Glock. Indeed. But he might as well assess his options. Still got 35 seconds here, and Chris J making his way towards short. Does not have armor at 100 HP still. In terms of finding the bomb, that seems nigh on impossible, but he does get the opening kill. See if he can do anything more. There's 20 seconds remain. Unfortunately for him, the USP at range does find his head. Nico with a lovely shot, and that's going to be the B approach shut down. It was all about the A fake. Robs did open things up, a nice bit of damage, but Brain taking him down below HP. And it, well, they were sort of ready for the B attack there. All of my staff did take a bullet to kick things off, but very comfortable. Denying the plant, it will be phased now with the pistol under their belts. And will we see the force by? Apparently not. Just going to be a few bits of utility, smoke and a flash, and an A execution. Just trying to get the bomb down here. Yeah, not even any P250s coming out from Mouse. So very conservative stuff here. And uh, the normal setup from FaZe Clan that they've been doing on their anti a lot is having three in the site. They've got Brokey looking towards the connector position. They normally have two, one towards the balcony and one sitting in the bomb site itself. So this should get shut down right here for Mouse. So here we go. The God Flash from Carrigan. Is it going to be enough? I don't think so. Rain looks like he's more than ready for it. Eco certainly is. And he'll be shutting him down. So one kill found. Nothing really invested into it. One smoke towards middle. A flashbang towards A. Hoping to get the bomb down. And uh, they managed to get just a single kill. So AK-47 is brought out here. Double digits for FaZe. Always a difficult round this one, knowing you've got a few SMGs in the camp. We'll see if they can step up. These are really good signs for Rain, though. You heard before uh, one of their previous matches on the CT side of Mirage, he was giving up a lot of opening jewels. Yeah. In the last two rounds, he's found the first two openings. So this is uh, good stuff here for FaZe Clan. It's a good start. See if they can follow up. And this is Brokey's lineup, so when Window is smoked, he can still Molotov. Yeah, he's going to go back and do it now. Make sure he has the trajectory right and still does get that incendiary right under the toes of Chris J. Pushes him wide into the spray of Nico, but the bullets do not connect. 5v5 still after the opening move. Yeah, Chris J. Lucky to not really take too much damage from that interaction. They have mid control now. They've made out some utility as well from the CT side. And what's the response? They're holding their default formation for now. And in terms of grenades, Mousebots still have their two smokes and six flashbangs or so. Rain exploring his options here. We saw this in the previous time they played Mirage. He was always at his A ramp, trying to get stuck in. Wasn't having the best showing last week. We'll see if he can continue to deliver. Be much more impressive here in this particular series so far. It's very rare to see a completely off game from Rain. Typically a safe pair of hands, seeing them gather now towards B and without any contact. Mouseports, this is the dream for them. Cold Zera, he's realizing the power is coming straight to him and look at the pre-fire. He knows what Cold Zera is up to. Brokey has managed to claw one back, but Woxic, a double kill to give them supremacy of the site. Yeah, I think that's gonna be it. You're not even gonna challenge this one. You're not even gonna think about the retake with Rain and Nico in a three versus two they have. Just a kit, a flashbang, the money's already low, and uh, saving their weapons seems to be the only option at this stage. They won't be able to drop too much. Gonna be getting themselves $1,400 into the next round, which won't be ideal, but here are the scores so far. Cold Zera, crazy good performance from him. 20 kills and 10 deaths. Frozen looking very sharp as well. Voxic, I'm sure he's got a lot more in the tank as he's just getting warmed up here. But it will be the round for Mouse Sports. They close the gap 10 to eight, and 
We'll see what kind of decision Face Clan make going forward. Yeah, we're going to be jumping into uh, Skybox here when this bomb goes off, boys, and take a look at uh, the early stages of that round. I'm going to be using the overview, so we're not uh, we're not doing the old isometric stuff you've been used to. But I just want to know how much utility is being dumped early uh, from this phase roster, right? So you see, they have one smoke to a connector. They already mollied ramp. They're about to molly ramp. Uh, they're about to smoke ramp. They're about to smoke halls, you've got a molly towards top mid, you've got a molly towards underpass. This is all within the first 20 seconds of the round. They've dumped this much utility. So it's going to make things very awkward for them as they uh, progress into these rounds. Well, here we go. There is going to be the full eco here. Nothing really invested from phase, but they do have the residual M4s. They have a single flash to go with it and a diffuse kit. So Nico trying to keep the money strong as they aim for orbs going forward. Now sports though, can't take this round lightly. Need to be very diligent to really like a gun round. And not walk to those real tight choke points as a squad. It's gonna be Carrigan here working with Frozen. Just trying to see if there's a, a B stack available. Get a couple of freebies. And they're now gonna be taken down. Oh, it's the M4. This could be messy. Carrigan painted into a corner. He's trying to get out of there and he gives two kills up. Nico discovers a couple of rifles there towards the apartments. Yeah, that's a dream. Oh, they're about to give them a taste of their own medicine here. Chris J. He has to focus on jungle. The reaction's not quick enough, and Rain could get caught through the boards, and he does. Woxic claws one back, and there's another. Suddenly, Brokey realizes now is not the time for combat. He backs up. He wants to be responsible for B. Rob's trying to chase, but will not go too deep. These rounds are just so incredibly tense here. Two M4s. It didn't seem like enough, but they actually have the man advantage now. Three on two. Mouse sports limping towards the A side. Good flashbang towards Nika's position in CT spawn. They got a Molotov to clear that out as well, and they'll deploy it in the correct spot. That could be enough to take down Nico here, but it doesn't land. Oh, that's unfortunate. You can see his intention. Yeah, and that's going to be everything. Nico gets his third of this round here. Flashbang is so good. Voxit will have to turn around from it. 30 seconds remaining. Bomb on his back and almost no chance of winning it now. Every second that goes by limits his chances. He's going to find it. CG score, taking considerable damage. It's broken to close things out here, baiting him into an unfavorable fight. It works out very nicely for FaZe, and presumably we've got a low buy from our sports, at least just a partial buy. Yeah, maybe uh, in this game of Mirage here, we just mark up the, the low buy situations to uh, the incredible individuals in the yeah. server yeah, here because I both teams so. have dropped a lot and the force buy is going to come out yet again. So Mouse Sports with a, a half buy, I think we're labeling it these days. Tech nines, some smokes and flashes. One thing I've noticed with this game so far, it hasn't played in the, the regular slow fashion on some of these rounds that we've been expecting. And I'm talking about more when the pistols are out, right? When the gun rounds are out, it has been quite stally. Let's see if there's a bit of pace behind this one. Looks like the bomb is over towards B, rops towards middle to juke through this smoke. Smokes B, HE, they're ahead of it. Oh, oh, no, they're not. They catch 150 damage on the chin. And Cold Zero is looking to add another to the tally. Olaf and Cold looking to deal with this without too much of a sweat. They do lose one of their defenders. But Brokey has arrived, and so does his name in the kill feed. Rops looking to claw one back, traded by Brokey, using that orb like a rifle. Impressive scenes here from FaZe. Looking incredibly strong on the second half, I have to say. It's going to be 4-1 in their favor here in the second half. Round 20 lands in their favor. No bomb plant foul once again, but the lost bonus starting to rack up at this stage. Should see quite a healthy situation for Mount Sports. Vox will bring out his AWP. They've got the AK-47s as well. And decent utility apart from Vox, who has none. But I'm sure that's fine. Face Clan getting closer and closer now to picking up Mirage. This is a mix-up. They've done a four-man A-lean here. Nico was to deal with window, but they want to put a lot of aggression down towards a ramp. That deep smoke, they can see the little booties over the top if they want to line up for an A-set piece. But unfortunately for FaZe, there's nobody home. Mouse Sports have opted to put the lion's share of their players through middle for this default. So this one here is a gamble stack that hasn't worked out in the early stages. Carrigan ensuring there's some apps presence at the... Oops. Oh, Brokey. That could have worked out for him. Looks like it still can. He'll get himself back up. No worries. A deep smoke. Carrigan's ahead of. Will that bait him into a peak? He's going to have to be behind it. And just wait this one out. Mouse Sports for now. Looking to take short control. Frozen with the flash to set them up. And Chris J will clear. So they're up short. They're up the cat. Halfway home. Oof, good shot from Brokey, holding strong on the CT side. Frozen will pull one back in the form of Olofmeister. And we're down to a 4-4 four four again, but the time 
is getting incredibly low here for Mouse Sports. 30 seconds remaining. Where do they finish up? The bomb hangs out towards Shaw, and Brokey has been ruffled here. He's going to have to have some fancy footwork if he's going to survive this one. He's got a player getting closer and closer. Carrigan surely takes him down at this point. Looks way too good for him, but finally the kills comes through, and the eighth finish will be found by Cold Zera. He's hearing it. Oh, and he's got Rops as well. Oh. Doesn't choose to stop the bomb, focuses his attention on Rops, and now it's completely rumbled. One man remains, and he's so low. Frozen's done impossible things already, but this one, I think, is just too far gone. He's going to get shot in the back. Missed shot from Brokey. Another chance, a new lease of life. They have to defuse. The pressure is on them, but they know where he is. What could you do? Nothing with an angle like that from Nico. They take their time and secure the must-win round. Certainly do. 13 to 8, bomb planted, and money is running thin now for Mouse Sports. Fourth state lost Burnus, and the bomb going down leaves them about $4,000 per player. So Carrigan, Robs, and Chris J with 3,700 can afford AKs and armor. They've gone for the Deagles instead. So another partial buy. They found great success with Ecos in the first half, but much more difficult to make that work here. Approaching with the set pieces on the T side. They've got themselves four smokes, one flash. I would say the B execution's coming through with some pillar smokes down and uh, that single flashbang. But looks like they're heading towards middle. So window and short smoke going down. Olaf Meister joining Brokey with a double orb here and they've managed to get the opening three kills. No problem at all. Wow. Just like that. You'd think a Tech-9 rush with smokes would sound pretty damn good against the double orbs, but not when they hit their opening shot. The wild spray indicative of Phase's current sentiment towards the remaining players, and there it is. Another one goes down. Rops, they knew he was coming, and now just that tech nine. Good restraint from Frozen. He upgrades to the Deagle. Oh. Hits another banger. These players God. cannot be understated. Do not underestimate what they're capable of. We've seen Frozen do it time and time again. He's got the bomb as well. Three players looking to clear out his position, get the info, and the rotate set up. But Frozen's going for the full Duke. Oh, he sent two of them rotating very quickly away here. You can see Cold Zero heading over for the B-bomb site, try and stop him. Then Molotov, actually perfect. I don't know if they knew he was there, but this is a great way to slow down any attack that could be coming on through. The AWP in spawn, though, if it misses, there's a chance. So Frozen, trying to find anything out of this round. Desert Eagle might be able to find the one tap here towards spawn, but unfortunately, Brokey is there, ready and waiting. It's going to be two kills per Europa here. Olaf Meister and Brokey cashing their chips, and the double orb setup works out quite nicely. Tactical timeout for Mouse Sports is frozen, showing us what he's made up here with the Tech 9. The Deagle follow up as well is just epic, to be honest with you. This one ball towards the steps position. Rattle Nico's Cade for short. And here comes the Orpha Voxic. One more round for FaZe. On their map pick, it's looking very good for the pick this first map up. And we've got the train next, which will be the pick of Mouse Sports. A bit of a specialty map for them. After they vetoed Inferno. Two rounds is all they need. It was FaZe's map pick, so certainly demonstrating as to why. This is good stuff going into train, which they've already taken off of Mouse Wars in the last best of three that these two guys uh, went toe to toe in. Close, so, no? I think it was like 16 9. Okay. But they'll, and they'll start on the CT side as well going into that next map. So uh, a lot of positive news for FaZe. They can close this out early. And remember, they've, they've lost to what, two or three Ecos here. So it hasn't necessarily been clean, clean sailing all the way, but still a convincing scoreline so far. Olaf Meister channeling towards middle once again. Flashbang does catch him, and the bullet does not. Falling back now, using the flash to just fall back and allowing Nico to get some control of the mid area. Gonna be throwing a grenade towards the top. Quite a successful one, boxing down to 81. Boys, this is normally where FaZe have their uh, their biggest woes, yep. right? They're afraid. Oh, yeah, you just reminded they're me. They're afraid of the number 16 for some reason. So the game could heat up right now. We haven't actually gotten close to finishing by any means, ladies and gentlemen. Olaf found himself in a very exposed position there. He was ready and willing to take those fights through that smoke with a Tech-9. Fortunately for him, things will calm down. He'll be able to get that AWP back out off his back. And bear in mind, Mouse Sports need at least a bomb plant here. Now, if Maximum Lost Bones going into the next round, if they don't get a plant, though, it could all be in vain. Smoke down towards window, Nico. Now, where of the possible boost? Frozen to drop in a flashbang as they smoke up CT spawn. Holds there a full B control. Means they can have four players now towards A. Olaf Meister's rotating over. And here comes the full commitment. Four players through connector. Oh, and they're close. A missed shot from Brokey. That's some space, some breathing room. And from behind, Nico's only going to get the one. 
Frozen positioned so well for the trade. Brokey's orb, they know where it is. And you can see the line of sight they use to retreat. One tucks in on towards Tetris. Chris J on ramp. I don't think they go for us. They've got two orbs on the retake. They have just a single smoke. I think they're better off saving. They seem to agree. Back in a way very early into this one. Chris J is going around the world. At this point, it is just to, to defend that bomb, but might very well become a hunt. So this is where, if you remember, ladies and gentlemen, you tuned in, you watched North versus FaZe on Inferno, and uh, it was an 11-1 lead on the T side. Then they finished the half 11-4. Then there was save after save after save after save. There were no risks taken by FaZe to close the game until it was too late, until aggressive retakes, all those bits and pieces were predicted. I don't want to see that go down again here, and hearing the fact that Yanko doesn't actually speak a lot, lets Nico stay up to his own devices, that could be a little bit of a worrying sign. They need to have the killer instinct when they've got them under the thumb, and when you're 14, what was, 8 up, you have a bit of a bank bill. I understand why you want to be apprehensive. You don't want to let the game run away from you in that regard, but we might need to see them a little bit spicier going forward. You can see that they didn't actually break the vent, so they're going for that early warning system. Well, they let Mouse Sports right back in financially here, this time with a nice full buy, but they have lost Chris J early on. Brokey continues the strong form. In the last three months, has been the highest rated player for FaZe. And that's saying something. You consider the absolute legends that were within their ranks. Brokey being on his rookie year as well, delivering consistently. Looking sharp out there with the AWP. Yeah, he's definitely found more comfort. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of visible discomfort in the server for Brokey when he first arrived, and I think that that mid-round reactionary information that Nika was talking about, saying how, you know, it, it took him a while to get that part right, I'm sure that's part and parcel of the introduction of Brokey. Nico, however, you can see the shadow, and he knows Woxic was there, a dink off the M4. Will make things a little dicey for Rain. He's got to deal with two ramps. There's even one palace, and he's ready for waiting for both. Well, they still have the man advantage. They got the Dinkhoff and Voxic as well. So Brokey more than happy to sit here and wait. Molotov down to flush out any close range CT players there waiting in the corner, and they will tuck tail, make their way back towards T spawn. Now, do they commit all the way back here? So we do have a few smokes remaining. So they're going to be throwing those towards CT spawn. See if the bait's out of reaction here. 30 seconds remaining. They are going to go to B. It's going to be incredibly difficult to suggest that they're entering the A-bomb side. The two smokes go over. The Molotov towards Sandwich as well. Flashbang towards four, and I think they're committing off this. Here they are. Brokey got out just in time, and Reigns found Rops. Nothing that Frozen can really do. He's going to give it a good shot. Found the first. Colzera to swing, and actually connects his shots. So puts it all onto one man. The tag from Nico. Converted by Cold. That puts 15 on the board. FaZe very quick to overcome the adversity that is 14. It has been certainly in the past this time. Just a shrug of their shoulders as they put match point on the board. Yeah, Six of them. Do. So Mouse Sports, though, with uh, more than enough cash to invest in the following round. They're going to take their third tactical time out here. And I'll register to chime in and work out how they can stay afloat here on the T side of Mirage. It is the pick of phase, and it hasn't looked amazing for Mouse Sports as of late. If you watch his lineup uh, maybe a year ago, slightly different players, they were actually considered to be one of the world's best in this particular map. That's when Chris J was doing the majority of the orping on both sides. We'll see, though, if Mouse Sports can work it out. Remember, phase clan not exactly closers in the last couple of months. So uh, still a few more rounds to be played potentially. But for now, we've got one buy in the bag, a full buy, and one round to take us train. Double orbs again. Didn't have to reinvest after the spotless for previous round. Into 25 though, we're gonna be seeing a little spot of early utility drop, this time towards middle. Going to try and contest Brokey's peak, but he has got a gap. Oof, and half of his health missing now. Doesn't cost Chris J a thing. $300, well worth it. So we'll set up for all of nicely here. Up against Carrigan, he's waiting for any pushes. We saw Cold Zera with that idea before. This time with the turret. Smoke to come through. Flashbang to follow it up. Doesn't catch all of my but certainly makes things a little bit more difficult. Takes his vision away. AWP still close range at this stage, hoping to outlast the smoke and then can re-challenge. Carrigan's got right up towards the mouth of the bomb site here. His teammates towards middle, those smoke off connector as well. So just looking to get control of the map where possible. And there it is, all off Meister dropped. Is there a response kill? Just about cold zero will find it, but down to 41 points of health. 
It's not bad from Carrigan. Certainly going to force a rotate, and it has. Look at Brokey. He's completely left CT. He's in Kitchen as they push up Connector. Mouseports, it's looking so good. And Chris J confirms what we already knew. They're so spread out now. Nico coming in from Ramp. One on B site itself. If Nico could perhaps find a quick double here, maybe we can start a conversation. First, not the second. Woxic very quick to react to the call. Cold Zero is on the other side of the map, but it looks like Mouse Sports will survive the first of Phase's six match points. Well, that's had to call timeout. Worth its weighted gold, it seems. As Carrigan makes way over towards B there, manages to get the opening kill with a nice bit of utility. We talked about that yesterday, chat. The Carrigan, one of his in-game leaders, wants to get the information himself. He knows what kind of suggestion needs to be made towards B. The fact he gets a kill there confirms Cold Zero is still at the back of B. That's the perfect time to strike, surely. Yeah, he does a lot of grunt work, Carrigan. We've been talking about his impact a lot on uh, the broadcast here. We're trying to give a little bit of a spotlight to these players who might not be carrying the team in terms sure. of frags, but what they do in facilitating rotations, opening those gaps, and really just making a difference that allows rounds like number 10 to be posted on the board here. So this one is threatening now. We always start to get a little bit more serious with these comebacks when we hit double digits. And uh, if you don't know, 10 would be uh, double digits. Certainly would. They have got a buy, as we mentioned, Cold Zera with the AWP safe in the previous round, but no one investing just yet. Rain down the 2900. Could be a partial buy considering that situation. This could be the first tactical time alpha phase. So what have they got up their sleeve here? Olaf Meister could buy that secondary AWP and they could have uh, a little bit of a compromise situation, but it goes for the M4 and he takes somebody down to 2300. So it looks like the partial could be coming through. Apparently not. No. They can fully invest. So yeah, Rain's gonna be having to make some sort of sacrifice. He's got the M4. Maybe they've juggled it successfully. Yeah, I see an M4 idle on the floor. And so we'll be venturing into phase, looking to close it out in round 26. They put all of their chips into the center of the table. Now it's time to see whether or not Mouse Sports can fight. They've got everything they could possibly desire. Every single nade, every weapon and even the helmets completely set up. Let's see if Mouse Sports can continue this adventure here on Mirage. Time will tell. It's Brokey. Looking towards middle once again. Has been excellent at finding these opening kills. It's much faster around here. You can see them just throwing four smokes towards the window. Two players up short here. Cold Zera fires off a lot of shots. Chris J has managed to get it towards the CPL area. It's a very powerful position. Stops a lot of rotation from short. Keep your eye on the window area as well. And they are setting up towards B. The bomb's there. Flashbang goes over. It's had a bit of utility. And now the bomb making its way towards T-Spawn. So again, Carrigan. Alone towards the B side of the map. Just trying to suggest it could be there. And there's actually three CTs inside the B area. It's Cold Zera, Olof Meister, and indeed Brokey. Hmm. Carrigan trying to make this one look good. Olof. Does react, and Chris is gonna commit off CPL, and that's the two B frags. Is there anything more? And now this is the moment of doubt. Rain still has not rotated off A because they haven't spotted that bomb, and he's right to do so. We've got one player to slip the net. Frozen has gone through towards jungle here, and he will be finding Rain. Four versus two, one more round will do it, and they've got such an incredible advantage. No bomb planted, 35 seconds here, and no grenades. It's just gonna be so difficult. So Frozen's gonna have to cover this plant in the next 30 seconds. That is a reality for these players. And every second that passes is beneficial to that of FaZe Clan. Their options become, oh, Brokey. He does take the fight and it works out wonderfully. And you can see the power of that right eye peak. So little visible for his opponent, Frozen. He's done so much for his squad, but that's too tall of an order. 16.